Uh, today is going to be our first uh, boot camp series one uh, using book uh, warm pup 64 dash 10.04 ISO and I'll leave a, a link where you can download this so obviously it's a 64 bit uh, a bookworm uh, puppy so first part uh, though is what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, I'm gonna assume that you've been able to uh, install it in uh, some sort of a media and then you can uh, come to the uh, uh, quick uh, setup uh, screen so that's the initial so all I've done is uh, just uh, it's a fresh uh, copy on my uh, uh, computer and then uh, I've just installed uh, a simple screen recorder it was actually already installed but I had to configure it to my headphone uh, and uh, and a microphone jack so otherwise this is very uh, uh, fresh so for me is English US uh, is fine and uh, the uh, time uh, slot is actually will click that and all the way down to Pacific US Pacific uh, I live in San Diego, so it's Western United States, and then uh, English is fine. Firewall is enabled. Time for internet is uh, very important that we want to uh, get a uh, internet time. And then I have a uh, Lenovo uh, uh, M900 uh, PC, so I'm going to put that in there. And then that's essentially uh, all you have to do on the initial uh, quick setup screen. And then it's going to uh, uh, you get a confirmation that uh, a name has been set, which is correct. And then uh, we synchronize your clock at each system uh, startup. It should be clicked. And then we'll go ahead and uh, exit. And then uh, you can do an initial uh, internet connection setup. But I'm, I'm already connected to uh, via Ethernet. Uh, so if you have a Wi-Fi, you should uh, go through the uh, internet connection, and then uh, I'm at uh, wired. I uh, also have wireless, but I'm going to turn that off, and Bluetooth is off, uh, so that's fine. And then uh, setup, uh, we can go through there, and then here, main thing uh, I think is uh, you want to go to hardware and the sound setup and then uh, multiple card uh, but I I've already have this set up uh, because of my recording so we'll go ahead and do that after that uh, pretty much what you may want to do is just go ahead and reboot when you reboot it's going to uh, create a first save folder so I have it configured where the save folder uh, should uh, be saved here and it's going to have a um, uh, its own uh, uh, save folder name so right now you can see that I also have a save folder uh, where I use uh, uh, Fossa Pups uh, 64 which is my main daily driver and then I also have a vanilla D pup save uh, ISO which uh, I also run so so and then uh, we'll continue on after uh, uh, we reboot. Now this boot camp series is uh, how I set up my own. Uh, in this case, a bookworm 64. So depending on your need, it may differ a bit. But uh, we'll go ahead and continue on after we reboot. Uh, I forgot what we want to do is before we reboot, uh, we want to. Uh, uh, auto mount these partitions uh, uh, because the, uh, frequently what I end up uh, doing from uh, Puppy Linux is to go ahead and uh, to be able to uh, edit uh, configuration files for example this is Linux Mint 2 and this is Debian Linux so I need to uh, be able to access easily all these uh, partitions so you see it's uh, just less hassle if I just auto mount them so to do that you just right click on any of the uh, icons and uh, get the P mount uh, going and then just simply first click and then uh, m or mount partition at boot 
second mount partition. This is the Debian. Uh, we also want to mount puppy uh, pups. Uh, that's where I have all the puppy uh, Linux ISOs and save a partition gets auto mounted after initial save and when you reboot but the data we also want to uh, mount so next time after a first re reboot all this will be mounted secondly i also do not want to see these uh, i rather have a clean a desktop so we'll go ahead and uh, uh, control key and then left click with the mouse left click with the mouse while the control key is down and then right click and then remove items so that's gone so now, now uh, I have rebooted uh, and uh, am using the first uh, save folder obviously and uh, it's, let me just check here under save so this is uh, what we've just created however I noticed a problem in that the the conkey is still going and some of these uh, um, s uh, icons uh, should not be showing up but it is and I assume that I try to do too many things uh, b uh, before first save folder was created so what we need to do is just correct the problem and then just simply go into the root and then uh, minus and then control H and then just go through the steps again start up you notice the conky uh, start is uh, still uh, uh, going and we'll just go ahead and get rid of these three and then similarly what we just did uh, before and we'll just get rid of firewall read me I don't need I don't need the memory and Synapse, I'm not going to use it as a application launcher, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of those two, those four. And then we will go ahead and re remove the parcel light by running this in the terminal command. We'll just copy and then we'll start the terminal and then right click and then paste and then go to the end and then uh, uh, and simply uh, return so and then uh, it should all be fixed and we will uh, move on to the uh, software install using Synaptic uh, GUI and also terminal so Pepe Linux uh, pup, uh, uh, puppy package manager ppm is how you uh, install application but I believe in uh, a bookworm I, I believe you can also use a terminal uh, which is very unusual in uh, to apply uh, to uh, to install application very unusual in puppy Linux but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the puppy package manager here legacy and then what I usually do is I uh, like to use the Lubantif. First thing you should uh, go ahead and uh, uh, update the database. So we'll go ahead and do that first. And now it's updated and then now we can go ahead and uh, install Ubuntu font for example. Oops. So let me just go ahead and close ALTF4 and then we'll s go through the uh, setup PPM legacy and then we'll see you want to font okay so now it won't let me do it uh, because it is Debian based so there are few very few uh, uh, puppy uh, centric uh, applications that you can install here but uh, you want to fund for example in this particular uh, ISO you have to install it through Synaptic which is the uh, package manager for Debian and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and get that started and then we'll reload Because I don't have my keyboard binding uh, uh, 
uh, installed yet. Uh, it makes it somewhat slow for my uh, for my liking, but we'll just have to suffer through here. And then uh, Control F should bring up a search. So Ubuntu font. So here it is a uh, font Ubuntu. We'll go ahead and mark for installation. And then uh, what I also need uh, for me is a Korean uh, language font. And uh, I go ahead and uh, B-A-K-M-U-K and then uh, coding. Okay. And then uh, also uh, There are other programs uh, that I need, but I think that what we'll do is uh, well I maybe have to just do it from the terminal. So we'll go ahead and apply these. So automatically close. We clicked on that, and then now we're going to close. And then now we're going to try to use the terminal. So here, LX terminal. So in Puppy Linux, we don't use sudo, so apt install and then y dash y makes it easy for me. And then wsctrl exiv2, these are uh, small uh, applications that I think the most of the um, uh, Puppy Linux has, but I just want to make sure. And then neofetch and I prefer X term, so we'll just go ahead and X term, although the uh, LX terminal works fine. Uh, and then I can't, I think it may be installed, but uh, let's just take a quick, so it's not installed. And then I also uh, use a gthumb a photo editor for my uh, use. And then Rofi is a Insert program launcher and then I think uh, we'll go ahead and install these for now and go ahead and enter and it uh, installs them uh, so this is good uh, uh, it allows for uh, a terminal install which is very quick a little quicker but the problem is that you may have to uh, know the uh, exact name of the application and you can use a search uh, apt search but uh, I find it more uh, quicker just use a synaptic uh, when that uh, that kind of problem arises So we've installed most of the programs that uh, I need. Uh, I need here, and then I believe the uh, f uh, Firefox is already installed. So.